Get over here! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Yo! Stop! What's good? Yeah, it's your boy Monte with another video. As you guys can see from the title and the thumbnail today, I finally revealed what you guys been requesting in the comment section. I showed y'all shooting. There's a video for finishing. Now is a video for defensive badges and some of the best setups, especially for guard. But you feel me? When we get to that screen, I'll show you what you should be using as a center. Like. I'm just going to show y'all all the defensive badges that actually work. But first, of course, I got to give you guys actual gameplay. And we're going to call this, mm, I guess, struggle gameplay. Gameplay where I'm not showing y'all an easy opponent where I just 21 zip. I'm showing you an opponent where, look, it takes my defense and my teammates' defense in order to create straps. And that's what happens when you play twos or any court, even in 5v5, bro. No one person defense can just make you win. You feel me? Not all the time, of course. But I mean, like, when it's comp versus comp, you need both players to be good defensively. That's my point I'm trying to make. Like, everybody matters, bro. That's how I feel about, you know, players on the court. We're all equal. And you see that bang, green running back to the three. Everybody's equal, bro. Me equal to my center he does as much important things that he need to do in order for me to do what i need to do so it's not a thing of like i'm carrying him he carrying me it's just you feel me it, it worked both ways it's all equal bro and i just want to throw out there shout out to everybody who's in the video it's all ggs if you made it into the video everything is all entertainment purposes bro i don't have no hate no no nothing against anybody bro and i just got my shot block speaking of defense now before i continue to get into the gameplay and continue to talk about defensive badges i just want to let you guys know we now have an official tsl logo so all of y'all who are subscribers you are tsl game so here's the first look at the official team strap life logo tsl bruh now this was a contest i did on twitter shout out to everyone who entered but my boy koa he won that and that's the logo we going with it's basically TSL mixed together as a logo, but in the form and shape of a lock, if you guys can see that. If anybody is confused on what it looked like. So it represents everything. It represents the straps. It, it, it just represents everything. I like it a lot. It's universal, you feel me? I could use it for merch. Hint, hint. Merch. I could use it for 2K Pro-Am. I could use it on shirts. It, I could just use it everywhere. And that's what I like about this logo. It's a global universal logo. So also with that being said, bruh. Also with that being said that means now that i'm satisfied you feel me y'all can let me know what y'all think about the logo in the comment section but it's the official logo just so y'all can see but now that we are satisfied with the logo it's time i finally release merch so most likely i'm gonna try to get it to drop maybe sometime this month maybe at the end of i mean not this month but it, i'm meaning in november like maybe at the ending towards the ending of november will probably be like a perfect time maybe like i do like a black friday sale but merch bruh merch 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 i know y'all been waiting for merch now this the thing currently right now on my discussions on the merch is they need to know if my fan base is strong enough come on man y'all know what my subscribers right now doing with a face right now as i said that like are we strong enough strong enough all right we gotta show them you feel me so when it's merch time all i'm saying is we gotta go crazy and if we go crazy which i know y'all are if we go crazy it just gives me more of an opportunity to expand on it where we can just get so many different options because the beginning will be limited because it's the first time you know what i mean so just throwing that out there it will be announced when the time comes it will be on twitter i'll make a video about it and let you guys know which link to click it's coming soon now back to the gameplay let me give you guys first my honest opinion about defense in nba 2k20 hmm from me having experience with a bunch of players with a lot of defense bro truthfully and honestly to a certain extent 
and you only can see it when you play against certain level of people but i honestly feel like and by the way by the way the gameplay is my two-way play sharp you know before being 99.9 .9 and all stuff like that so if i feel if you look like i'm dribbling a little different yeah but anyway um yeah so defense this year i feel like it's it's kind of it's kind of non-existent you know to a certain extent and i'm saying that because certain badges only work properly at certain levels if that makes sense like there's badges that only activate or work in the game when it's on bronze it's trash when it's hall of fame so that's what i mean i just feel like a lot of badges need a lot of fixes especially and specifically pick dodger bro there's no way and i'm not even talking about my bills i'm just saying like a pure lockdown can come to the two's core or play nba 2k20 and he will get stuck he will get bear hug on a screen you feel me like and be stuck and he has hall of fame pick dodger like i don't like that i could see if it's like that for a player who you know doesn't have the badge or only has it on bronze but and mike wayne already spoke on it he claimed he gonna fix it so most likely next patch because he acts you know the community and everybody admits the truth screens is kind of op you feel me as far as when it comes to those bills like i said it should be how it is if somebody don't have the badges but for people with the actual defensive badges you got it gotta be a significant difference you know for people who have defensive badges so like i said either way in this video i'm going to be showing y'all the exact badges that it's going to take you feel me to make your performance enhanced defensively on nba 2k20 regardless so i got y'all but i just gotta i gotta keep it 100 like defense is kind of you know what i'm saying like it really takes the player skills this year bro it really takes the player skills bro and even i know in the comment section y'all can relate y'all can agree there are players that have no defense no pickpocket or only pickpocket on bronze and they get way more steals than a player with hall of fame defensive badges it's just the facts bro it's the truth i can't lie i see them for myself i play with pure locks in rec center and like the most steals you see is like the interceptor like you don't really see the on ball pickpockets that much but when you play against one of those guards without the badges and they come up and spam square they get a lot of steals i ain't gonna lie but hey let me know if y'all can relate am i speaking facts or not nah, bro facts or not nah? but anyway as you guys can see look like i told y'all i showed y'all a bunch of defensive possession this is a gameplay where my build is fairly new i can't really do too much just yet but i still brought them out to the park just so you guys can see it and um oh and i got some we got a lot of like yo we got a whole lot of fire gameplay coming soon bro i ain't gonna lie but like i was saying i showed y'all a lot of defensive possession i'm showing y'all raw footage all the mistakes we made how many times this team got the ball and then i'm showing y'all how to play defense how to get the ball back on twos bro against a team that's fairly decent so as we wrap this gameplay up like i said i showed y'all a bunch of defensive possessions and how it worked as two people being equal the game is over wide open three by my center now and look 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 at the defense the guard who's the star of the team he's 0 for 4 0 for 1 on 3 and then look at the teammate he 0 for 2 you feel me that's great defense now let's jump into game two now game two is more of like i said those guys i feel as though they was a little decent these guys i feel like is actual comp you feel me there's like a little clan little you feel me like i like this i like this and they have the you know basic lineup that you're pretty much always going to go against which is a playmaking shot creator and a glass cleaning lock now i don't judge comp by overall i don't judge comp by whatever their rep is because like oh and i'm already greening by the way this is the two-way slashing playmaker now so first game play was a two-way play sharp this game play is a two-way slashing playmaker i'm bringing you guys a lot of different things because y'all keep spamming in the comment section to make the videos longer okay that's what y'all keep saying so that's why you feel me you, you know the vibes but anyway what i'm gonna try to do in this gameplay is see how much i can bully this playmaking shot creator under the basket and as you can see it didn't work he played good defense now that's leading to what y'all came here for is to see defense perform now what i can say about all my builds so far like everybody lose and anybody can lose everybody loses that one game on the twos you see the great defense right there but i feel like with my build in a series it's very hard to beat this in a series but like we actually play a series eventually my badge is going to activate eventually it's going to be very annoying and eventually whatever you're doing on offense is going to get discovered by me and my teammate and it's just going to make it hard 
to win because we have so much i have so many defensive badges it just makes it easy like when i play with my builds i don't have that fear of you know like oh man i messed up or my teammate missed because i know i play defense and i shoot a wide open midi i guess he played good defense i missed it but look got the ball right back you you see the you feel me you see the defense like i said before we get into the badges naturally you just gotta have iq on defense and that is why i'm the strap god so as i iso you feel me i'm trying to get jiggy with different sigs in this video like i told y'all i'm gonna try to bully him under the basket look i could have easily passed but look at that 2k that shouldn't drop i can admit that shouldn't drop but hey we just gonna test that's really like the only way if i don't really play around a lot they not gonna get the ball for real for real so i might as well try to do like so you feel me little forcey under the basket but it's 11-0 they had the ball how many possessions i think what at least two so far could have been three i forgot i'm gonna say two i really forgot i think they had the ball at least twice and we got it back so we're gonna keep counting that hopefully i didn't do the count wrong if i did it's cool y'all actually watching right now so y'all can see but anyway going with the base of iso take another layup 13 to 0 he can't guard the simple i'm just doing simple moves obviously like i told y'all when y'all get different gameplay you're gonna get different dribble sigs you feel me i will let you know when it's up to date dribble sigs on something i'm actually using currently these be them videos when i'm testing you feel me stuff like that i think this is i'm using kevin durant size up in this video bro and look what i'm doing to him bro like not even enough effort taken from me and we unlocked the granny we got that take we got take bro now there's no way this playmaker shot creator can stop me with take and look speaking of that i still end up missing like really like really i'm missing with my badge that's really crazy right there all right so they get another possession should be the third one if i'm not mistaken it's 15 to 0 let's see how we play straps against like a clan what is this the the i clan shout out to the i clan if you watching you feel me like i told y'all it's all entertainment but look another possession straps bro look at the defense like i said that's three possessions you feel me i'm gonna try to get a bucket on purpose because it's, it's too not too easy he's strapped hey good jump good timing he got the ball back they playing defense and look oh almost another turnover he fades away i'm on that i know he going for that so i'm playing that real tight bro i'm playing that real tight so what was that if I, uh was that four was that the fourth possession that was their fourth offensive possession so far and they have zero points bro it takes a certain type of opponent to pull up for me and whoever i'm playing with to play a certain level of defense like if i feel like y'all really on that like yeah i'm saying they trying to cook me i gotta go rage mode yo and something that i just gotta i gotta i gotta say this and it's their fifth possession by the way as i say this i gotta reveal this bro i play my best defense when i'm talking trash and not necessarily not necessarily talking trash to like my opponents but just to myself of like ah come here nigga like let me mm, you feel me like that's how i play my best defense bro if i'm calm cool collective like how i am on the videos my defense gonna be cool but it ain't gonna be like when i'm in that that trash talking mode and i'm really trying to hawk you down like you y'all know what i mean like come here bro like hold up you're not going nowhere you're not getting no buckets and that's how i felt on this gameplay you feel me as you guys can see so 15 to 0 i'm blinking on defense i'm still trying to chase my opponent look at the straps look how my center is playing defense look how i'm playing defense now on the center side your center must have um an interior defense of 95 to stop certain level of cheese i play with a lot of bigs that don't have that and we end up getting bullied by post scores but when i play with certain centers it's dead and look the defense is so crazy he gave up he gave up look zero and four bro zero for five zero for two he gave up as a team they gave up they was like yo they playing way too much defense there's no point it's, it's, it's over bro all right so we finally got the reveal of the defensive badges now these defensive badges is for my two-way playmaking sharpshooter on my two-way slashing playmaker with most of you guys are coming to the video for he only has 18 that's why it says three available up top so i'm just showing you what i would use on my two-way slashing playmaker this is normally his lineup because his badges are limited you feel me now I, and i still got other versions i would use on him but let me get into the badges let me explain everything um this is like i said i got 21 on here so i can get more in depth you feel me so let's let's get into all these badges bro i want to I'm, I'm gonna at least say something about 
each one of these categories so the video gonna be a little long like y'all be wanting so first things first clamps clamps is one of the best defensive badges in the game whatever build you got no matter what it is max it out i don't care what your build is get clamps on gold if you have to get clamps on hall of fame whatever option they allow you to get get it maxed out clamps is op it actually works intimidator i feel like the hall of fame version is more for centers for the under the basket i don't really see the benefits for guards so i kind of think gold is good enough now unless you're going to be in pick and roll defense and like always switch it to the center you can keep the hall of fame but other than that i think it, it works good enough on gold but to be truthful and to be realistic i don't see this i don't see a difference in this working on braun like it's all the same to me if you want me to be honest with you bro but gold is safe you feel me so i would say go gold but if you want to say points try it on bronze bro but for now we just going with this setup interceptor interceptor in my opinion works best on silver you feel me i'm showing y'all my official setup by the way but on silver is the best version of interceptor i tried it on gold i tried it on hall of fame i don't see no differences you feel me i see no differences but the only thing you could possibly probably get from hall of fame is you might get steals without pressing the button but i mean if you're an iq player you're gonna press square on your own regardless so either way it's not wait it's not worth wasting those four points so interceptor silver is the best in my opinion how it works now let's get into pickpocket the most this the most iffy defensive badge in the game i can't even lie like i can't see the difference between hall of fame or bronze so if you guys are debating it just like me i would say do a win streak while your pickpocket is on bronze and then do a win streak while your pickpocket is on hall of fame and see if you can tell the difference now to be safe i would say go ahead and you feel me if you want to be safe you can keep the hall of fame bro just to be safe that's up to you now um pick dodger another iffy badge mike wing already already confirmed on twitter how broken it is they know how stuck we get on screens and it's very annoying so with that being said it's kind of useless to even have it on hall of fame i get stuck regardless I get bullied regardless and i have to switch regardless so to be on the safe side if you still wanted to work a little bit i guess you could try it on gold some of you guys could try it on bronze if you don't have a lot of points but i think gold good enough bro i think gold good enough only because hall of fame I, like i said i don't see no crazy benefits but i have tried it and it's just like sometimes i put it on just to be safe bro just to be safe um rim protector for any build any build offense i mean i said offense any build centers point guards any position i mean like rim protector is perfect on bronze the only benefit you get the hall of fame is with making the takeover me to go up but i don't think it's worth four total points you can get snatch blocks i got snatch blocks i've done everything with just having it on bronze and i play with centers that only have it on bronze and they get snatch blocks so don't think you need rim protect on hall of fame to get snatch blocks no you can get snatch blocks on bronze all the snatch blocks i got on my guard bronze okay um chase down artist one of the most useful defensive badges this year people probably don't know this badge actually works but the combination of bronze rim and chase down artist it actually works so i recommend every build if you have enough points get chase down artist bro it actually works bro if somebody goes past you and <clears throat> if your build does actually have defensive ratings or stuff like that get chase down artist bro it actually activates and it actually works um now we got three more points now for for my other build for my two-way slash and playmaker this is the official setup on a two-way slash and playmaker he only has 18 for the people who made my exact build okay but if you're on my two-way play sharp you got three more extra points as you guys can see and on this build i actually chose rebounding so i actually can get boards i actually can get boards on this so now if i want to like none of these other ones are useful for this build so if i feel as though i'm getting screened too much and it's annoying i'll put that last point on that if i feel like people making too many dumb shots i'll put my last point on that nothing else will change so with that being said my final setup with this build i would just go with rebound chaser on gold and for twos i'm basically going to horse the guard that i'm going against bro so this like the most fire setup in my opinion now that concludes what badges i would choose for guards now real quick before i end the video i'm just going to go over badges that 
are like what works and what don't work so yes as a center of course you want to have rebound chaser box out actually works if you're playing with a screen setter you want to get brick wall on hall of fame it actually works heart crusher i say it's kind of useless you don't need it that's more of like that's for pro-am in my opinion you don't need that same thing with off-ball pest off-ball pest does take down stamina to your opponent if it's off ball and they trying to catch it but it ain't that deep to waste points um lightning reflexes i feel like it activates too late even on hall of fame um and and by the way i'm gonna do probably in the future personal videos on each of these badges personally plan with them to see more in depth of, of an opinion on hall of fame but i've tested some um pogo stick works the best on silver if you one of them jumpy guys you'll at least get two back-to-back -back jumps on silver so that works tireless defender is an amazing defensive badge i can't lie on gold it works best on gold and basically if you're confused on what tireless defender does when you run out of stamina completely and you're blinking if you have on tireless defender you'll still be moving fast if that makes sense you'll still actually be running instead of like how i don't have it at all I would be just completely not moving at all. I would be too slow to catch up to the person with the ball. But the reason I don't have it is because defense isn't fully fixed yet. And I'm not using pick dodge on Hall of Fame at the moment, bro. And that only reason is because, like, I'm not chasing the ball anymore. Like, if I get hit with a big body screen, most likely I prefer my center to switch now. Trapper, that's for Pro-Am. Worm actually works. You can swim through. These badges are for people with no interior defense. Uh... You feel me that you get bullied you might need them but i know people who have higher strength and you feel me max weight and they don't even use these badges bro um what else what's the last one i didn't touch on the last one is defensive leader defensive leader is the opposite of floor general it increases your uh your teammates defensive stats by plus four you feel me on hall of fame so if you want to use it cool but like i said at the end of the video this is my basic setup you feel me for the two-way play sharp it'll i mean for the two-way slash and playmaker it'll look like this but for my two-way play sharp it'll look like this and like, i ain't gonna lie i'll be changing my badges bro it switches up a lot but this is the most frequent one that i see that works the most bro so y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section y'all can go out there and now officially be a strap god y'all said y'all wanted long videos i brought that to y'all boys it's your boy the monster hope you guys enjoy this video and we out of here yeah.